The law is on the car buyer's side, yet car dealerships still thumb their noses at it. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. We've mentioned multiple times on this show that the new FTC rules are simply clarification of existing laws that were written to protect against a laundry list of dealer crimes. In demonstration of what Kevin's talking about, not only have the local police started getting involved in arresting dealer employees for committing these crimes, but the Office of Attorney General in multiple states have also been going after car dealerships too. Yes, recently in Massachusetts, A.G. Healy has sued Haverhill Car Dealership for pricing discrimination. Attorney General Mara Healy announced recently that her office is suing a Haverhill Car Dealership for engaging in unfair, deceptive, and discriminatory pricing practices. Yeah. Seems that those three complaints crop up many mm-hmm. times. And it's against black and Hispanic customers by illegally charging them hundreds of dollars more for add-on products when purchasing a car. You see, friends, if a car dealership thinks you're clueless of your rights, they will immediately take advantage of you no matter what the law says. And only you can put a stop to it. Just one of those ways is through a complaint to your state AG's office. The AG's complaint filed in Essex Superior Court alleges that Jafarian's Service Inc., DBA Jafarian Volvo Toyota of Haverhill, charged black and Hispanic customers on average hundreds of dollars more than white customers for add-on products, such as paint protection, gap insurance, and remote starters. Dealers will stoop to just about any level, and it seems they're even comfortable adding racism to the list of crimes. Yeah. AG Mara Healy is quoted as saying, Purchasing a vehicle is already a significant financial decision for many families and individuals. The last thing they should be worried about is unfairly paying more for a product because of their race or national origin. Agreed. Unbeknownst to many car buyers, dealerships can often make more money on the sale of add-on products, profits after the fact, than on the sale of the car itself. When purchasing a car, most customers are focused on negotiating the price tag of the car and add-on products are often sprung at them at the end of the sale when the customer can be tired and their guard is down after likely going through multiple rounds of negotiations over the price of the car and or financing. The long process is by design. They want to wear you out, hoping you'll just give in. Furthermore, customers may not understand that dealerships are marking up pricing for add-on products, making them cost several hundred or even thousands more than ever before. The AG's complaint alleges that the dealership gave staff full discretion to mark up the prices of add-on products, and its sales history shows that the Slimeball Finance Office at Jafarian appeared to charge black and Hispanic customers on average approximately $500 more, or $400 more respectively, for add-on products than similarly situated white customers. This alleged discriminatory sales practice resulted in more than $170,000 in improper profits for the dealership in a two-year period. The complaint also alleges that the dealership provided no training or supervision of its pricing policies and practices to prevent pricing discrimination. I would add to that by saying that behavior by the finance office is actually encouraged by the ownership of the dealer. Now listen closely to this. The AG's office alleges Jafarian's practices violate the state's Consumer Protection Act and the Public Accommodations Law, which prohibits discrimination on account of race, color, and national origin in public places. Did you catch that? It's almost 100% likelihood that your state has a Consumer Protection Act in effect and a public accommodations law also in place. There's no reason for you, for anyone to sit there listening to a dealer's nonsense and taking their abuse. Back with more on a case in Rhode Island and an older one in New York right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I'm Mary Jo from the Homework Guide team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications about coming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Massachusetts isn't the only AG's office getting into it with dealers. Rhode Island's Attorney General Peter Nerona sued two Rhode Island car dealers alleging deceptive pricing. The Attorney General announced that his office has filed lawsuits against two auto dealerships for allegedly engaging in unfair consumer pricing practices in violation of Rhode Island's Deceptive Trade Practices Act, DTPA. In the lawsuits filed in Providence County Superior Court, the Attorney General sought a court order to halt further conduct 
obtain restitution for consumers where applicable, and impose monetary penalties for violating the DTPA, the state's principal consumer protection law. Add that as an additional law your state likely has in effect. Yeah. Deceptive Trade Practices Act. This is in addition to the commonly passed Consumer Protection Act and a public accommodations law. You know what's funny? We've had viewers comment here on the channel that they spoke to a dealer about illegal shenanigans they were pulling, and the salesman responds by saying, we are very familiar with the law. Ha! <laughs> That's so much nonsense. There are few people more clueless about law than a car salesman. By the way, here's another older case in New York where A.G. Schneiderman announced a lawsuit against auto dealers for alleged deceptive practices that illegally inflated car prices. It's the same old stuff that has been going on for a while and in every city and every state. Attorney General Eric T. Schneiderman had announced this lawsuit against several Queens auto dealerships included on this list. Koppel Nissan Inc., Koppel Cars of Bayside Inc., DBA, Koppel Subaru, Koppel Mazda, Koppel Auto Group, and Koppel Volkswagen Inc. Collectively, Koppel dealerships. Huh. Sounds like Koppel is quite the shyster dealer. Yeah. You gotta admire his consistency though. <laughs> All of them have the disease. Oh, man. The lawsuit filed in New York Supreme Court alleged that Koppel dealerships all owned by the Koppel family unlawfully sold after-sale products and services, including credit repair and identity theft protection services, to 1,426 consumers that sometimes exceeded a cost of $2,000 per consumer. Whoa! Expensive right there and likely no help at all. Yeah. Attorney General Schneiderman had said at the time, when consumers shop for a car, they should not be misled by deceptive dealerships looking to make a quick buck off New Yorkers. Unfortunately, some dealers pad their pockets with fees for products and services that unaware consumers don't need and don't want. It's an ongoing problem that's alive and well in your state to this day, Mr. Attorney General. It's time to lower the boom again. Who's next? If you ever wondered why these crimes are so rampant, just take a look at the money that's involved. The court papers in this case alleged that the Koppel dealerships collected more than $1 million from consumers over a 19-month period for the illegal credit repair and identity theft protection services alone using such deceptive tactics. The suit sought a uh, court order prohibiting the Koppel dealerships from engaging in these kinds of practices in the future and directing them to refund all illegally obtained overcharges to consumers. The question is, did they follow through? Did the dealer actually stop? In addition to this case, the Attorney General had also announced new settlements with dealerships in NASA and Suffolk County for selling credit repair and identity theft protection services to consumers. The same old crime. Apparently, it was Westbury Jeep Chrysler Dodge Inc. and Fiat of Westbury LLC, related car dealerships in Westbury, New York, that were also selling CFI credit repair and identity theft services. Who knows how many dollars they pocketed? Yep. We hope today's show helped illustrate that not only is the law on your side, but you have so many options to file a complaint. Do not be a victim of an unscrupulous dealer. And whatever you do, don't do what this car buyer did recently in Wisconsin, going back to shoot her salesman. Your legitimate and legal options include local police, your state office of attorney general, and the FTC. You can also bring your complaint to a consumer protection attorney in your area. They often work on the premise that the dealership will have to pay their attorney fees. For our newest viewers, you can also connect with the Homework Guide team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down that main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving a tip at any of the links you can find in the description box below. You'll also see a super thanks button just below the video. Thanks everyone, we really appreciate you. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of you faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.